But the worst was like me and him got in his van to drive the stuff. It's just me and him. And he was basically on heat strikes. Right? This was when he decided he was going to wind down his window and start shouting his chat up line at girls. Right? <laughs> it's a good one. You might want to try it yourself. Right? It was a good one. Right? It was some. Um... Hey, love, do you want to get in my van? <laughs> no takers. I don't know. And it was awkward because they were offended. It looked like I was his mate. I wanted to lean across and go, just so you know, I don't know this guy. But I thought, A, that will create an awkwardness between us. And B, it all looked like I was someone who responded to his invitation five minutes ago. <laughs> I mean, that is not how you meet women, is it? I mean, I don't know how you do, but I know that is not. I mean, what was your name, so sorry again? Dan, and uh, are you in a relationship? Wait, obviously, you're holding a girl's hand. I mean, that'd be very awkward if you're not in a relationship, Dan. <laughs> if you're, you know, I mean, if you're not, this is a very public way to come out in a relationship. Um, what, what's your name, Dan's girlfriend? Rosella. Rosella? Yeah. Good name. Is that, well, it's not short for anything. It's, it's too long as it is. Um, <laughs> I mean, don't ever record a DVD. You wouldn't have a fucking chance. Um, <laughs> and uh, how did you meet? Through a mutual friend. Through a mutual friend. Mm -hmm. So did they, did they set you up or? No. <laughs> no. Facebook. Facebook. You want Facebook and dogging? I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty sure dogging doesn't involve any mutual friends. Um, <laughs> I think the point is you don't know who that person is before or after. Uh, so, so just through a mutual friend, because it's difficult to meet people. I, I, I get invited to this. I got invited to a thing called a traffic light party. Have you been to one of these, Dan? You have. If you haven't been to one of them, what it is? It's a party for single people. And it is the bleakest thing humanity has ever invented. <laughs> it's a party where you go wearing the colour of a traffic light, depending on your availability for sex <laughs> with a stranger. So red if you're not available, orange if it's a maybe, and green if you have absolutely no self-respect at all. <laughs> I, di I, I didn't go, Dan, because I'm a driver. I know how traffic lights work. I know how that party's going to end. It's going to end with one girl stood in green, then a queue of men with me at the back, slowly edging forward. <laughs> Go, please still be green when I get there. Please still be green when I get there. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're not even safe if you wear orange, are you, to that party? Because I've driven with a lot of people that when they see orange, they go, well, that's essentially green if I go out fast enough, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, who is wearing red to a traffic light party? If you're wearing red, you do not need to go to a traffic light party. What are your other options? Turning up at A&E and going, no, I'm fine, I just want to watch the carnage of others, thank you very much. <laughs> it's difficult. I mean, dancing, that's a way to meet. The last girl that asked me to dance, do you know the song what they were playing? Dan, oops, upside your head. <laughs> that is the worst dance of all time as well. That, the one where you sit on the floor and do that, that isn't a dance, that's just sulking. <laughs> also, I never know who's the person that starts that, because if no one joins in, that is going to be fucking awkward. <laughs> Josh, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I mean, it's not a dance, is it? It's just the conga meets the human centipede. <laughs> but, like, you go out, you get invited to things. You have to go to these things. That's the problem. Birthdays are the worst because you feel you have to go. Like, I keep getting invited to these birthday parties where my friends are trying to recapture their youth. Where they go, oh, don't know whether you want to come out this weekend, Josh, but uh, it's my birthday. We're all going to Laser Quest. <laughs> no, no, I don't. So I can legally drink. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> been invited to Laser Quest, ice skating, bowling. It's my birthday in a few weeks. Can I have my own? Good guys. Good news. I've rented a sports hall, and we're resetting our sats. <laughs> I mean, it should be awesome, but do bring a see-through pencil case, otherwise you won't be getting in. <laughs> If you, I had to go to LaserQuest. Have you been? The people that run it, right, they try and overcompensate for the fact they work in LaserQuest by being overly macho about everything they do. They went in the guy went, right, welcome to LaserQuest. What I'm going to do is split you into two teams. I want you to have a think whether you're a winner or a loser. <laughs> and I had a thought, and I thought, well, it's a Saturday afternoon and I'm in LaserQuest. <laughs> if I'm honest with you, this is a no-brainer. I wasn't stood there thinking, fucking hell, this room's full of winners, isn't it? Is that Sir Steve Redgrave? Actually, <laughs> he said, he said, if you haven't been to Laser Quest before, what it is is what war will be like in the future. I thought, I'm not sure about that. 
Not sure I'm going to turn on the TV in 10 years ago. Oh, more fighting in Afghanistan. Wait a minute. Are they in a warehouse next to a bowling alley? <laughs> Is that dry ice? Are they listening to Two Unlimited? <laughs> He's right, it's exactly like Laser Quest. <laughs> I don't understand these childish things. Like I went, I went to a, a pub the other day, one of those pubs where they've got board games in the pub for you to play. Well, they've gone, the atmosphere in here is so shit, you could hold a chess tournament. That kind of... <laughs> when in there, Cluedo, Monopoly, I haven't played Cluedo, we end up playing Cluedo, I haven't played it in years. I had to read the instructions. Cluedo has the worst storyline to anything ever. You read the instructions to Cluedo. It says, you've been invited to a party, and one of the six guests... Six guests? <laughs> that is the shittest party <laughs> I've ever been invited to. If I turned up at a party and there were six guests, and the first person I spoke to was a reverend... <laughs> I'm no Pete Doherty, but this is fucking lame. Also, this is a party where one of the rules is no one is allowed in the same room as anyone else at the same time. <laughs> I mean, what am I going to do? Bash through the walls. I'm not Run DMC versus Aerosmith. <laughs> also, who is holding a party at a house that has nine rooms but no toilet? <laughs> I need a piss one. I'm afraid you're going to have to go in the billiard room. That is the best we've got. Then, as if it isn't bad enough, at this party there is a murder. Although, to be honest, at this party I'm not ruling out suicide. <laughs> I don't know about you, if I was at a party and there was a murder, I would call the police. <laughs> I wouldn't go, hey, guys, fuck the police, we're going to try and solve this one ourselves. <laughs> Even though we know one of us did it. <laughs> These are people that, when trying to solve a murder, look at a corpse with a bullet in its head and go, well, I'll tell you what did that. Either a revolver or a candlestick. <laughs> or a lead pipe. Who is bringing lead pipe to a party in the first place? <laughs> Who's going, oh, you said whiskey, I heard lead pipe, my mistake. <laughs> well, you don't need a storyline on a board game. No one's playing other board games going, well, I would play, but what is my motivation? <laughs> I mean, unless you can tell me why the hippos are so hungry in the first place, I'm not getting involved. <laughs> I mean, is there a storyline on Buckaroo I don't know about? I don't know what to explain a situation where we're in a field putting random objects on a wild mule <laughs> till it kicks you in the face and then you start again. <laughs> and then Monopoly as well. Monopoly in a pub. Who is going to a pub for five days? <laughs> Not the worst place for Monopoly. I got on a train recently. On the table, they had a laminated Monopoly board. Go, look, if there's going to be delays, just fucking tell us. <laughs> also, that's not much help to me, because I'm not going to lie to you, I haven't brought all the bits for Monopoly. 